What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you a really cool effect on Final Cut Pro X. I don't really know the proper name for this effect, but let's call it the... Pop out of screen effect. I got the inspiration to create this effect from Colin Ross. He's an amazing YouTuber who creates amazing effects like these on After Effects. But I won't be using After Effects in this tutorial though. I'll show you guys how to create this effect in Final Cut Pro X. First thing you want to do to create this effect is to shoot your scenes. I'll use the clip with the piece of paper that I shot earlier as an example in this tutorial. Make sure that when you are filming this, that you are centered right in the middle of the screen. Next, when you are showing your object, make sure that it is in frame the whole time. For the laptop clip, I suggest shooting it on a tripod right in front of the laptop to keep the clip stable and steady. You will also need a bright green image covering the whole screen to make the laptop effect work. You can easily find it on Google. Once you have one downloaded, make the image fill up the whole screen. Then film it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you have both of your scenes filmed, start a Final Cut Pro so we can get to the fun stuff. Find the first clip that you filmed and place it on the project timeline. Find a second clip with the laptop and place that on top. Under the effects tab, look for keyer and drag that onto the top clip. If you need to, adjust settings such as levels under matte tools to fix any imperfections in your laptop green screen clip. Resize the bottom clip so that it is just about the same size as the screen. Now you will need to search for the Draw Mask tool under the Effects tab and place it on the top clip. Click on Invert Mask, then find the part in the clip where your hand or your object starts to overlap the laptop screen. Then start placing the Draw Mask key points there. Place a keyframe under Transforms and Control Points. Now move frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key and adjust the key points to follow the movement of the hand or the object that is coming out of the screen. Press B to bring out the Blade tool. Then cut the part where you started to place your Draw Mask key points. Highlight the first half of that clip and then delete the Draw Mask tool under the Inspector tab. Go back in and move any key points if they need to be adjusted. If you want, you can add another Draw Mask tool to the top clip and mask out the hand once it goes out of screen. You just need to do the exact same thing and go frame by frame. I know this is a bit tedious, but once you're finished, you will have something awesome like this that most people won't even think of doing on Final Cut Pro. Like and subscribe down below guys if you want me to create more tutorials like this.